Okay. Have you guys been able to do anything besides promotion as far as enjoying this year back at Comic Con? They just, you two snuck in. I saw some uh, pr other promotion for the Dungeons and Dragons movie last night. I'm jealous. Yeah, there was a, there's a dragon. <laughs> there, uh, there's a dragon. Pays a visit. Yeah, yeah no. <laughs> Oh, probably another thing you should do since this is audio only, can each of you introduce who you are so that we can match, like, voice to... Yeah, sure. Is everybody here with a different outfit? Yeah. Oh, or, okay, cool. Alright. They don't tell us much. <laughs> you can ask us anything. Okay. My name's Mary Meg. I'm, I'm uh, the lady. <laughs> I'm Thomas Middleditch, playing Terry in Solar Opposites on Hulu. Well, I'm Sean Gambroni. I play Yummy Wack in Solar Opposites on Hulu. <laughs> oh yeah, I play Jesse. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and something I love so much about Solar Opposites is the way you guys take these like fantastical characters and ridiculous premises and like really bring human emotion into it. And I kind of wonder if that's like ever a challenge for you guys or it comes naturally or... It's written, it's written in, it's written well. Yeah. It's written well, so you can find the love. <laughs> sure. I'd say that's not, the, the, the more challenging aspect is constantly having to do it louder and faster. Yeah. Those are usually the notes. Totally. Like basically scream your lines and do them real quick because there's a certain pace to the show. Right? Does it ever become improv at any point or is it typically? Oh sure, yeah. You usually get a few takes uh, as written and then, you know, mess around. Not every single line, obviously, that would be exhausting, but you know, where it, where it fits. Yeah. And I, and I watch it and, see, and recognize the improv and be like, oh yeah, that was, put it in. All right. <laughs> Oh, yeah. um, so the solar opposites, while they're getting used to life on Earth, they're like hanging out with the humans and stuff and trying to assimilate while also being very different from them. And they're mostly kind of harming them. But at the end of the episode with um, the jerks and the solar opposites have to turn everybody like back to uh, like they have to get rid of the jerks and help the town. Do you think that they're on the path more toward helping humans rather than harming them and trying to coexist rather than terraforming the planet? Do you think they change their minds about that at all? Even when they're helping them, they think they're helping them. They're usually really hurting them. Yeah. You know, like. Get I do think, I do think, like, begrudgingly, humanity's kind of growing on them. I mean, Terry likes humans. He likes Earth culture. It's Corvo who, like, wants to, get, wants to go away, wants to leave the planet, all that kind of stuff. But I think... Humanity's winning them over. Yeah. Well, I mean, they made a whole town just for you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Little mountain yeah, 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 of course. Yeah, I thought they're doing regular human stuff, like the, the summer vacation. Yeah, this season definitely seemed like it was more of a family rather than just a team. Um, how do you how do you feel about that? Do you like the character, the, the way that these characters are going? Definitely, yeah. Like it's kind of grow, growing closer, and like we're still doing crazy stuff. But like Jesse's teaching Young Yulak a little bit, or it's rubbing off on Young Yulak to be a little bit nicer to people and to her. And, um, <laughs> but yeah, you can't like you're kind of like learning how a family unit. It's better for the pupa and everything. So yeah. you were pretty upset at the end of last season. You were in tears. You were like, why? Why are our characters so mean to each other? I, yeah, I, I broke. <laughs> Yeah, so it's good to see you. Yeah, they, they changed it around for me. Yeah. 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 <laughs> family. It's all the family. Well, oh, sorry. I would say, building on her question, though, do you think there's a danger the longer they're on Earth that they're going to go completely native and basically say, yeah, we're pretty good here? Uh, I don't know. If, if, if it's a danger of that, would it be so bad? No. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know though. In the end, I think there's got to be some kind of contention always brewing. I mean, I don't think anyone could really entirely love humanity as a whole. And there's all these other other um, factors at play, like the 
what's happened to the other Schlorpians. And I mean, there's always something. That's the beauty of cartoons. Anything can, anything can happen. So, so you know, you don't know if they'll ever be all the way normal. But I doubt it. <laughs> Hope not. <Yeah. laughs> so, kind of going off of you guys as working together as a team on the cast, are there any particular like characteristics or things that you guys find that you kind of bounce off of each other with? Um, we, we, uh, most of the time, we do it solo. Um, but as far as like, do we do we do we give each other like, hey, I tried this, you should try that. Do you guys have a team? No. no, we don't, we hate each other. I, yeah. <laughs> Justin, in terms of Terry and Corwa, Justin usually records his stuff much later than I did, so maybe I might unintentionally give him something to react off of, but he's probably just does it all himself anyways, and then, and then it's the editing team that puts it together. Yeah, I feel bad for the editing team. They have a lot of work. That's really interesting, though, that like Justin bounces off of you in a way since you record your lives first. Do you ever realize a scene like went a completely different direction that you weren't expecting or something like that? Or? Uh, not so much a different direction, but it's, you know, sometimes I go, oh, they chose that and not that. Or like, I thought I remember doing like a full 10 minute riff on this and none of it made it, uh, made it in. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> uh, but. Yeah, there's some stuff coming. We're actually in the middle of recording season four right now. And there's some stuff that I'm thinking of, like, okay, that'll be interesting for when he, if he listens to it and responds to it. There's, there's some, there's some more intimate moments between Corvo and Terry, which I think would be nice. He better listen to it, yeah. otherwise I'm gonna be so sad. Yeah. <laughs> You'll all listen to it. Uh, uh, we, I always have the uh, whoever's directing that day read me in, and so there's some, some of them are really good yeah. at uh, reading the parts. I don't. You it don't doesn't matter. What anyone else does, <laughs> doesn't matter. I'm going in there, doing my thing, try and stop me. Uh, yeah. He's your runaway train. Yeah. So, um, I just recently watched Boz Lerman's Elvis like six times because I'm obsessed with that movie. And there's a part of the movie where he's in the recording booth and they're telling him, stand still. He's like, I can't sing if I can't move. So, when you're in the booth doing your recording, do you have anything you like to do physically that you feel helps you with your performance? I'm a complete statue. No. I think you're just like moving around. I'm moving around. Yeah. I'm moving around. Yeah, I'm moving around. Oh, yeah. I, yeah, I'll, I'll move, I'll flail. They told me to like throw the screws on the ground sometimes. I don't know what that for. They, they told me that's a good, good technique, so I was doing that too. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't understand the people that'll do it sitting. I always have to stand and kind of get into it. Especially since, I mean, it's so animated. <laughs> uh, but it is. <laughs> It's quite an animated show. Yeah, again, I can't stop. But yeah, you have to be so expressive. And as I say, you're always like so vocal. There's rarely a quiet moment. It's like the quiet moments are reserved for the wall and everything else is so bonkers. In our defense, we all have a wider emotional range <laughs> than what you hear on the show. Like, it's so much fast-paced yelling. And then I'm, I, seriously, I was like, you guys might want a quiet take of this. <laughs> and I'm just, it's never, ever makes it. I don't know. It never makes it. And, and, and then I'll even do some where there's, they're swearing in the line, and I'll be like, what if you need a clean? <laughs> None of it. They, want, don't, want they don't want any of it. <laughs> it's an edgy show, Mary. <laughs> So you guys are, you know, moving forward, recording season four, um, and you know, looking to the future. But are there any particular storylines that you think um, are unfinished that you'd like to maybe touch back on, like going back to Little Mountain Lake in the future, or like the Wooden City? Is there anything that sticks in your mind that you want your characters to revisit? You know. 
I'd thing. love to go back to Little Mountain Lake. I, I really would. I, I'd love a, another National Lampoon style vacation. I, that, I vote that one for sure. We need a line part three. Yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh. When that went into the next episode, I was screaming. That was so genius. Next question is going to be last question. I like the scholastic team. Like all those, that whole like crime syndicate or whatever. But I'd like to see them come back in some capacity. Yeah, and that's the beauty of the show. Like so many of these things do and will. Oopsies. Never mind. I don't think I'm supposed to say anything. Didn't give it anything. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. No, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, you, you asked mine. Oh, can I have one more? Um, yeah. Are there any particular traits that you guys find the most relatable to the characters that you kind of find in your daily lives? Huh. I kind of, I'm like the opposite of Terry. I'm like quiet <laughs> and probably bummed about something. <laughs> and Terry is just this loud, brash, like says whatever he feels kind of guy. And it's, I think for that reason, I like to play it because it's just very different than me. <laughs> so, it's, it's uh, Young Black, he's kind of like, I can relate to how he re reacts to, or like how he feels about certain things. But yeah, it's kind of nice to have like a moment where you're like, he, re he responds totally different than how I would. He's very like, action oriented. He'll, like, he'll do things, like he'll make the wall or whatever. So You don't kill everyone you disagree with? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> huh. Weird. So I can learn a thing, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I feel very, I relate to Jessie really well. Like she tries her hardest to do the right thing, but is easily swayed to the dark side. <laughs> I can relate. <laughs> yeah. They're all speechless. All right. Cool. You guys did Thank you guys. Thank you. 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 Thank